Good morning, everyone. Rob out here at I'm Always in Hotwater.com and Boats in Hotwater.com. And just to preface, this might be a 11 to 15 minute video just because this time of year I want to make sure I cover as much as I can uh, up until a July 4th weekend. It is tough for me to get out to these boats willy nilly. So that is the point of the video walkthroughs. I uh, also keep, I want to let you guys know there is a trailer with this vessel. I do not have it up in, on site. It's in Columbia and I will get pictures on that. The seller lives in Columbia, but it comes down here. Uh, the boat stays here on the island on this wash rack. And what we have out here today, uh, which I'm kind of impressed by is a 1981 Grady White 22 Bimini. 220 Bimini, excuse me. Um, she's called Real Deal. I actually also knew the previous owner of this vessel. Although I didn't make the sale to the current owner. They're friends up in Columbia. And this 1981 Bimini is powered by a 1998 Yamaha 200. And I think it's going to be an SX, STXRY. I'll walk around. Overall, you know, it's a 1981 boat. As far as the exterior hull goes, I can say uh, that if my detailer came out here, and if you wanted to touch up the bottom paint, that's great. But as far as the exterior hull goes, let me just check. I don't really see any chalking. Um, no. I mean, I think he could bring this thing back. Uh, really a good detail would, you know, shine this thing up if you want to do that in the off season. So we're running a 1998 S200 TXRX. This, uh, Yamaha has a new powerhead, newer, uh, less than 300 hours on it. So let me just cover a couple of things on the boat so you guys can kind of see. Like I said, it's a 1981 boat. And I'm going to sit here and pick it apart. Uh, all the rest is pretty obvious. It's got a hard top, which is nice. And actually, the uh, stainless steel is, you know, very little pitting, um, easy to clean up. This engine uh, has a brand new powerhead, well, less than 300 hours ago. And I did a compression test, uh, cold compression. The boat hasn't run in a bit. And the numbers will be up on the site. Uh, one three and five you're basically running between 125 and 130 and on two four and six you're actually running 140 to 150. now for a 22 year old engine i'm not concerned i've been on this boat and uh, i think top end with the wrong prop um is about 40. 38 is going to be where you're at if you're pushing it in you know against the tide and i think a little yama lube and uh, you know, blow some of this carbon out, things will uh, line up a little better. But I don't have any complaints. According to Yamaha specs, you wanna be within 10 to 15% from high to low, but you're consistent on your individual size and your compression is good. I've run into these engines where I'm running, usually top I get on these engines is 125. So I'll have like 125 to 130 on one side and then 85 to 95 on the other side. So I'm not gonna complain if I'm running compression 130 to 150. In addition, if you guys just take a look, right there, I mean, she is clean. You know, obviously you're gonna have your corrosion up around your gasket areas, but uh, actually kind of impressive. You guys can just kind of see, hopefully I'm not panning in. Uh, just pulled out brand new plugs, so there you go. A guy that did the work on this engine did nice work. Uh, this top end RPM runs between 51 and 5300 when you should be more up around 55 to 5800, let's just say. If you want to change out the prop, gain some speed, uh, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you know, if you think you want to go more than 40 miles an hour in this boat, that's on you. As far as this vessel goes originally, it was twin motors. So it's been scaled down to a single motor. And you guys can see it's got a manual uh, pro hijacker plate on it. And the transom um, for that setup, as you can see, has been supported 
and you know modified obviously across the board so I think probably this had the uh, uh, shoot I can't think of the name of it now because I'm so busy um, your motor connection up on the god damn I forgot the, the deck um, all right, we're just going to skip that, but you can kind of see this modification. The seller has had this boat since 2015. I think this engine was put on in 2017 and then re uh, repowered with the power head uh, less than 300 hours ago. He had used it pretty consistently up until this last year. So let me just kind of walk through the vessel real quick and give you guys an overview. One of these days I'm gonna take her out on the water or just sea trial it with somebody. We're not gonna be asking a lot of money for the boat and trailer. Uh, I think this is gonna be a good deal for somebody that wants to get in the water um, with a good old reliable boat. You guys see, just take a look. No real soft spots up here, I've been through it. Like I said, the stainless steel appears to be in nice shape. What you see on the boat is what you get, uh, minus some personal items. So uh, even the marine chairs, which you guys know how much those are being conveyed in the sale. Ugh. Now, I wanna, before I forget a couple of things, I can't get into, the seller has the key for this. Uh, there's a newer stereo and VHF. I have pictures up on the site and you guys can see speakers. Uh, I think there's two, possibly four speakers. I think I see two. And a little fresher gauges. Uh, as you guys can see, um, you know, the binnacle, your tack. In fact, it does not give you hours. So, you know, on these old motors, you just can't really get that. This Hummingbird 300TX actually works, but you can kind of see it's faded. This boat also comes with an old Fishfinder 240 Garmin that mounts here and works. And then uh, a new, oh, it's an Echo Map uh, 90 something DV something. I'll have the picture up on the site that just kind of snaps on in. So there you go with that. Forward bilge uh, and rear bilge uh, with float. So let me just kind of keep moving. You guys take a look up in here. You know the cabin, there's no cushions. The cabins, you know, for a 1981 is not bad. <laughs> now, there are some things you might want to do in this boat. I'd kind of put an enclosure over your wiring if you're going to have kids running around. Maybe touch up the teak and do that. It looks like a little step that goes in here. Um, I don't really have any complaints. This is a great storage area. There's no porta potty here, but you can put one if you want. You got extra storage up underneath here and there. Um, so, you know, you're pretty good there, too. But like I said, I like the boat, especially for what it's going to be priced at. I can see some of the cabling's fresh. Engine looks fresh. I'm not really concerned about the compression. You get what you get. Overall, let's just take a quick look there. Okay, now, um, those look new. Er, there should be some LED lighting. There. All right, uh, moving forward, did I cover everything up there? Yes, now, quick note. On, the, on this particular motor, uh, if she sits for a while, what you're gonna have to do is your choke where you push in on the key is, you know, useless. It's just I can hear it, but it's not working. So what you do is if she's sitting for a while and you want to crank her up and pop her off, pull out your manual choke, and then you'll go up here, because I just did it myself here, and then, you know, turn the key and just give it a little bit of gas and she'll fire right up. Once she fires right up, um, you know, then you're good. It's just after she's been sitting for a long time. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, he's got a little solar charger here on this particular battery, which I'm not going to pull up. Here is, as you guys know, a two-stroke easy access oil fill. And, you know, you got this back area here if you want to keep that up or drop that down. Perco battery pack. So you got, you know, one on each side and then this other spot is storage. I got to keep that off. C-Star steering. Um, uh, good little projects. Uh, if you want to fire up that wood, you got a boarding ladder. This is basically designed for fishing and family fun. Um, 
you know, kid oriented in a way, but you don't really have any, you know, beds in there. But, you know, plenty of storage and plenty of fishing off the back. I think these chairs are a nice touch. Also, I wanted to point out that this boat originally spec'd out with 180 gallons. You had an 80 gallon tank and a 100 gallon tank. The 80 gallon tank years before even the previous bar was removed. I don't know why. I don't care. Uh, so this boat actually hails with a 100 gallon tank. So there's that. And um, for most of you that know these a little bit older bit uh, Grady Whites, I always check the decking for sponginess. And as I walk through, I'm pretty good. You got a little bit of sponge right here. And good, 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 good. And you get a little bit softer in here for sure. Okay. Um, once again, I expect it on these vessels. And there we go. And there we go. Boats being sold as is, whereas um, put the boat under contract. We'll see trial the boat. Check to see if you can keep the boat here at this marina. I don't know if it's a thing or possible with the waiting list, but it may be. Uh, this slip is paid for until the end of June, so it would have to be before then. And that'll probably about do it on this. Hopefully that covers all you guys' bases. Uh, there was something else I wanted to point out. Oh, uh, I, I do have the current stickers that run, I think, uh, till 8 of 21. So taxes are basically paid up until then with the new system. Uh, clean titles. No paperwork on the trailer because in South Carolina we don't do that. And that'll be about it. So Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com hoping that covers all the bases for you guys. Wishing you a great and safe boating day. That anode's okay. Yeah, you're okay in your anodes. Next service, change them. Well, change your plugs. Anyway, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com signing off. I think this is a great little deal for somebody. Uh, especially if you're trying to get on the water by July 4th or Labor Day. And that'll do it. Rob signing off. You guys have a great and safe boating day.